Prince of the Areopagus and said, Man of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are very religious. For as I was passing through and considering the objects of your worship, I even found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God. Therefore, the one whom you worship without knowing, him I proclaim to you, God who made the world and everything in it, since he is the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in the temples made with hands, nor is he worshipped with man's hands as though he needed anything, since he gives to all life breath and all things. And he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on the face of the earth, and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings, so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might grope for him and find him, through he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as, as also some of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. Therefore, since we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divine nature is like gold or silver or stone, something shaped by art and man's devising. Truly, these times of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent, because He has appointed a day in which He will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom He has ordained. He has given assurance of this to all by raising Him from the dead. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, Hallelujah. some mocked, while others said, We will hear you again on this matter. Amen. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is uh, the Apostle Paul in uh, the city of Athens, wow. debating with the Athenians, proving that there is only one true God and one uh, mediator between God and man. The only name by which man can be saved, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen.